And as you'll see here, here's all of my cuts playing back exactly as you would expect. Lastly, I'll show you keying native red footage. And here's my red 4K timeline. I've got two red files on top of each other. I'll jump over to my effects controls. I'll turn on my key where I keyed out the sky and the pool. And I'll just go ahead and hit play. And you'll start to notice that the first time you're able to deal with 4K red footage on a 4K timeline, keying in real time, being able to scrub this back and forth very, very fluidly in native red format. No conversion, just playing 100% off the GPU. You can even do other things like adding 3D effects to this. So let me go ahead and just wind this back and show you how some of this plays. With me in between the sheets or the sound you make with every breath you take it's unlike anything when you're loving me and i'd like to thank dino georgopoulos for the use of the red footage for this last section, I wanted to talk about how the Mercury Playback Engine can accelerate your exporting process. I'm going to go ahead and add a few more layers to this particular video like this Photoshop file and stretch it completely across the entire sequence. I'm going to right mouse click and scale to frame size so that fits the screen a little bit better. And for this project, I want to go ahead and have running time codes. So I'm going to create a quick transparent video layer. Add that to video track 3, stretch it across the entire sequence, and go ahead and add a timecode video effect. So now I have running timecode throughout my video. Now at this point, I want to go ahead and export this out. So I'm going to go to File, Export, Media, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Export Now. And what you're seeing here is an incredibly fast export. This is a 14 second timeline rendering in under eight seconds. Now what happens if I go ahead and turn the Mercury playback engine off? So I'm gonna to go to File, Project Settings, General, and I'm gonna turn Video Rendering to Software Only Mode. And as you can see, my red render line comes right back, again, just like you would expect. And what this means is now when I go to hit File Export, every single frame has to be rendered before it goes to the exporter. So if it takes two seconds or three seconds to calculate that particular frame, then that just adds to the overall time of the export. With the Mercury Playback Engine enabled, the only thing it's going to do is send the frame directly to the exporter. And the way that you see it here, it has to calculate and then send it to the exporter. Let me show you what the time difference is. I'm going to go to File, Export, Media. Go ahead and hit Export Now. You can see it's a lot slower. You can see the time savings instantly. So I'll go ahead and turn Hardware Accelerator on. And at this point, I might have decided that I want to go ahead and make a change to my Photoshop layer by adding uh, maybe a blend mode. So I'll go down and add a hard light to that and play that back. And if that's not the effect that I wanted, I might go turn it to vivid light for a little bit of a harder look. But these, again, are the changes that I can make. And it doesn't affect my export time. So if I go to File, Export, Media, and hit Export immediately, you'll notice my export time is ripping fast. So as you can see, the Mercury Playback Engine not only makes your overall editing experience and creative experience that much better, it saves you valuable time during your exports. And as I said in the beginning of this presentation, the Mercury Playback Engine is a total game changer for the next revolution of nonlinear editors.